So I want to thank everyone for joining how to create an investment business that is built to last. So why are we even talking about this? Why are we even talking about this? And I'm going to tell you why. Because all of the time I see people who come into this business and they don't last very long. They might do a deal. They may come into a, a very favorable market cycle and they flip a few houses or buy a few rentals and they think things are going great. And then six months, a year later, two years later, things shift, things change. They start to deal with the real problems of rental property. They have a problem, you know, either raising money or, or building a team to really support them to really get to that next level and and their their flips turn into flops and they don't make it they don't have a sustainable business so we're going to talk about what i what i've seen in this business that helps helps real estate investors create a business that is built to last you know i've been doing this for 11 years now and i want to do this for the next 20 30 40 years and so i'm like always looking for the things that that are sustainable that can withstand markets ups and downs um, whenever markets go flat and sideways and who cares if, you know if you have a business that's built to last who cares what the market cycle is doing who cares what it's in if you have a business model that that can create income and cash flow and even fat checks whether the market's going up or down and so that's what we're going to talk about tonight so I know that some of you are are just finding out about me you may have seen something on Facebook or online or you know, I, however you stumbled across this webinar and this presentation, perhaps you're watching this as a recording and you're not on the live version like some of you are tonight. And so I want to just talk real briefly about who am I and what qualifies me. This is kind of the slide is like, you know, who in the heck are you, Brant, and why should I give my time and, and listening to you? Well, uh, my name is Brant Phillips and I'm a real estate investor. I really... I just consider myself a real estate entrepreneur. I started this business, like I said, over 11 years ago, almost 12 years ago now. And I started with nothing. You know, I, I used a credit card to purchase my first home. All, my wife and I were living in an apartment and we were dead broke, like broke. We had no money in the bank account. Um, wasn't because we were living foolishly, but we were fairly young and had spent time, you know, paying off credit cards and student loans and that kind of stuff. And we were, um, you know, hadn't been married too long. So we were just like getting started out in life, but um, just discovered I wanted something more than that. And I didn't really know how, and I didn't have money to uh, just go out and start doing what I, I desired to do at that time, which was to invest in real estate and become a full-time real estate investor. But more importantly, just I didn't want to have a job anymore, right? Like I just wanted to create freedom while creating, you know, financial uh, stability and freedom as well at the same time. So since that time, you know, I've done some, I've done some things in this business uh, that I really love and I really enjoy. The business has been good to me. That's one of the reasons I do these webinars and trainings, like to give back and help others and motivate people, inspire, educate, and equip others. And, and for the record, that's that's what I want to do tonight with this webinar. So, you know, some things about me. I've wrote a few books. We have a new book actually coming out in a, in a few months now that I'm excited about. And I'm not going to talk about that right now. But I created a company called Invest Home Pro. Uh, we were recognized a couple of years ago on the Inc. 5000 list, which was really just you know, very, very cool and very humbling at the same time, considering where I started out and uh, occasionally go on the news and do public speaking and things like that. And we've, we've built the business now to where I was just a one man, a one man band doing everything myself while working a full time job and working like crazy long hours, even in my first year. Going back to my first year when I bought 10 houses, starting off with just that credit card and uh, still working a full time job and whatnot to where, where now we have a fully built out office with multiple admins and, and acquisitions agents, construction managers, real estate agents, all these people in office, closing coordinators, a billing person. We've got we've got the whole nine now and we're a fully built out team. So I'm I'm pretty proud of that. And, and hopefully that qualifies me a little bit. Um, since that first deal that I did, um, we've done hundreds of deals since. Man, honestly, we stopped counting, but you know, well over $25 million that we've borrowed and repaid, repaid, which is really important because we're primarily nowadays we're 99.9% funded by our private investors. So it's really important to me that our word is our bond with our investors. And when we borrow money on a deal, we pay it back. And I've got a hundred percent track record of that. And, you know, it's kind of scary 
in, in the info marketing space, especially in real estate, you Google search some of these guys. Like I encourage you to do it. Google search some of these quote unquote real estate gurus. And uh, you may find some dirt on some of these guys, including a lot of failed businesses and bankruptcy and scandals and just guys that aren't even doing actual deals. So that's really important. I'm only bringing this up because it, I think it qualifies me that we've got over $5 million right now in active projects. So what you're, the training that you're getting is not something that's old and stale. It's, this is what's happening right now. And, and what really ties everything into this presentation is, is I, I'm a firm believer in building a business with multiple exit strategies and different ways to make money with every deal, with every single deal. You know, every flip deal that we do, and I'm cutting a little bit ahead right now, but every flip deal that we do, we analyze flip deals that have other options available because when you paint yourself in a, one, a corner with only one exit strategy, guess what? You are not built to last. You're setting yourself up or you're playing, you know, it's Vegas, you're gambling. And I don't like doing business that way. You want to know why? Because I've been in those situations and those scenarios. So we're going to talk about multiple exit strategies and why it is absolutely critical to build a business that is built to last. All right. So to me, real estate is knowing all about the fundamentals, right? Businesses, no matter what industry that you're in, the businesses that are built to last and the businesses that are sustainable uh, for years and years and decades and decades and decades are built on fundamentals. Whatever fundamentals they may be for that particular business, there's something that is proven to work over and over and over again. And so for those of you who've read my book, um, you know that that's the outline of the book are these seven fundamentals. So these tie into everything that we do in our business that's allowed us to have that 100% track record and to be going as strong as we've ever gone now in, in my 11th year of this business. It's built on these seven things that you see right here which are these seven fundamentals. And if you haven't read my book before, it's on Amazon. Just go to Amazon and, and search my name or search, search how to flip a house or search seven, seven fundamentals. One of those things and it'll come up. I encourage you to read that. Get as much education as you can for those of you who are just starting out. And later on, I'll be talking about a live event that we're having uh, coming up very soon in Dallas for those of you who want to come and watch us in person. There we go. All right. So whenever um, this topic came up in our office, and that's kind of why this presentation came together, was we we're just talking about other companies. Actually, it came up about a, an investor who failed, right? Who's no longer in business, someone who failed and just wasn't doing business anymore. 